First of all, it should be noted that in a pure semiconductor, there are equal numbers of electrons, which are negatively charged particles, and holes, which possess a net positive charge. The most basic semiconductors are silicon or germanium, both of which are tetravalent, that is, they have four valence electrons on the outermost shell. Because eight electrons is a stable number, one more or one less electron will change the charge of the atom. In a tetrahedral arrangement, each electron forms covalent bonds with four surrounding atoms. Let's simplify the model to make it easier to understand. At absolute zero, the electron is strongly bonded to its parent nucleus. However, if heat is applied, the thermal energy may become greater than the energy binding the electron to the nucleus. This means that the heat will break the covalent bond. The bond is broken, sending the electron from the valence band into the conduction band, leaving in its place a positive charge or a hole. Since the atom now has a net positive charge, an electron in the neighbouring atom may be attracted to it, so that the hole seems to have moved to the neighbouring atom. The electron hole movement throughout a semiconductor is random. However, if an electrical field is applied, the electrons are urged to fill the holes so that the holes move in the direction of the current, whilst the electrons move in the opposite direction, filling in the holes. This concludes my dynamic presentation. Hope you enjoyed the show.